up, Legacy family and friends? Happy Tuesday. This week, we're airing our 32nd episode of Tuesdays with Tyler, and I got to be honest with you. As I was away at work this week, I started asking myself, why am I still doing this? Am I doing this because the pastor asked me to do it? Am I doing it because I think that I'm getting closer to Jesus? Am I doing it because I think that I can make a video go viral? So I came to one conclusion as I was soul searching and trying to understand why I continue to do this. And the message that God kept giving to me was that Jesus uses messed up people. Stay with me here for a second. Think about Peter, one of the apostles. Jesus knew when he selected Peter that he was going to mess up. Jesus knew that Peter would deny him. In Mark chapter 14, verses 27 through 30, it says, On the way, Jesus told them, All of you will desert me. For the scriptures say God will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. But after I am raised from the dead, I will go ahead of all of you to Galilee and meet you there. Peter said to them, Even if everyone else deserts you, I never will. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, Peter. This very night, before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times that you even know me. Obviously, we know how that ends. Peter failed him. Peter messed up. But guess what? Jesus still used Peter. The same man that knew Peter was going to mess up is the same man that knows that you're going to mess up. He's not seeking people that have everything figured out. He's looking for people like you and me that are going to mess up. He knows that you're messing up in your life right now. He knows that you're a sinner. He knows that you're putting things ahead in your life right now ahead of him. He knows that you'd rather probably skip past this message right now because there's something more important in your life going on. Jesus knows that you're going to mess up, but he still loves you. He's the same God today, tomorrow, and forever. What else do you need to hear? If the closest followers of Jesus were messed up and he still used them, what makes you think that he can't use you? What are you waiting for? John said in our message this Sunday that tomorrow may never come, and that's the reality that tomorrow may never come for you. Share this video. Declare victory today. He is ready to use you. I love you all. We're praying for you. Join us at Legacy Church on Sundays at 11 a.m.